Today we're going to be talking about working your horse in hand. Working your horse in hand is a wonderful way to build their strength and flexibility without the weight of a rider and help them to be more responsive when it comes to their under saddle work. I'm going to be giving you three exercises today that you can do with any horse at any level to help improve their flexibility. So let's get started. Good boy. So the first exercise that we're going to be doing here is working on lateral work. And lateral work is a wonderful way to improve your horse's flexibility on the ground here. It helps you with side passing, leg yielding, and eventually half passing under saddle. So I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to start this off. The first step is you want to make sure your horse is totally comfortable with the whip. So I see the whip as an extension of my arm. I want my horse to be completely relaxed, not afraid of it at all, and completely comfortable. So let's see how we do that. So to introduce the whip, I'm gonna stand at my horse's shoulder here, and I'm gonna start by just rubbing him over his back like this. And I'm gonna work my way over his back and down his legs, under his belly, and just all over his body. Now, if he were to move around and get worried at any time here, I would just keep rubbing him until he stopped and relaxed and then take the whip away, put it back on him, until eventually he gets to the place where Sonic is here, where he's totally relaxed with the whip. So you can see how I can rub Sonic all over here and he's completely calm with the whip and shows no signs of distress. So now I'm ready to start doing a little bit of in hand work with him. So I'm gonna start by finding my position, which is right here at the point of the shoulder. And then I'm gonna organize my rein and whip. As I organize my rein and whip, I'm gonna start with my left hand. I wanna hold my thumb up on my left hand like that. And I wanna hold relatively close to the bit. So I can kind of work in this range or a little closer, but I don't want my hand to be too far back like this because I have less control. Moving on to my right hand, I want to hold my rein and my whip in this position right here. Now when I started in hand work, I had my rein and whip in this position, which I commonly see, but I found that I have more control if I hold my whip like this. So to find this position with your whip, you're going to put your hand through the reins, point your finger forward and thumb up. You're gonna set your whip down in between your pointer finger and your thumb here, and curl your pointer finger, set your thumb over the top to secure that whip, just like that. And you can see uh, that my whip is off my horse, so I'm not accidentally hitting him as I work with him. And then I turn my wrist here to touch him with the whip. And this gives me really good accuracy on where I wanna to touch and allows me to release easily. Now when it comes to my reins, I wanna be able to start with my right rein here, which is my outside rein. To correct him, I'm gonna be sliding that hand down. To release, I'm gonna slide up. So again, correct, and there's release. Inside rein, I'm gonna go up to correct and down to release. So now we know that our outside rein to correct our horse, we're gonna be sliding it down to correct, up to release, inside. We know we gotta pick up this way to correct and bring it down to release. When we go to move our horse laterally to start this exercise, we wanna imagine that he's inside a box. So there's a wall here, there's a wall here, and one directly behind him. So the only door that's open is that way. So as I do this, I've got just these two basic tools. I've got a one that says go forward and one that says slow down or whoa, which are my reins here. And when he's balanced between those two tools he, or those two aids, he's gonna move laterally. So we're gonna start this movement off by standing here at his shoulder. I'm gonna touch him with the whip and encourage him to go forward a bit. When he starts going forward, I'm gonna pick up with my hand here to let him know to not go any more forward than that and then release him when he crosses over. A little touch with the whip if he stops. And at the beginning, it might not be pretty. He may move around or want to go past you. Just be patient. You know, there you can see him back up a little bit and just let your horse kind of figure it out. So there he had some really nice steps. So then I'm going to slide up and reward him for that. What a good boy. So now we're going to move on to talking about our next exercise. 
So now we've done our lateral work with our horse. We've had him move more sideways like this. And our next exercise, we're gonna be having him step his shoulders around like this. So his hind end is staying pretty still and his front end is pivoting around like that. And this is going to help to improve your horse's shoulder flexibility. And it's going to help your horse to be able to sit back more onto the hind end. So the position is the same as it was before as far as our reins and our whip go. But the difference is when I was moving my horse laterally, I was here. And when I'm moving his shoulders, I'm gonna be more in front of him. So I'm thinking about this more of as a circular motion. So we're gonna be moving in an arc and I'm gonna stay right in front of this front leg. So as he steps it over, I'm gonna keep walking a little in front of it to block him from going forward. So I'm gonna ask him to walk a little forward here, step in front, release him every time he steps over. Just like that. And you can see how Sonic really has to sit back and find his balance there to make that crossover. So it's a great exercise to help him with that awareness. Now, when you start doing this exercise, your horse may struggle with getting a very deep cross or keeping those hind legs as still and want to move around. So as you start doing this, um, just do a little at a time. If he's struggling to cross, have him cross a little bit and then walk him out of it and give him a break. And each day, build to being able to do a more and more complete circle. When Sonic started doing this, he really struggled, but you can see now after breaking it down a little at a time, it's really pretty easy and smooth for him. So in our final exercise, I'm gonna be focusing on getting this inside hind leg to be more mobile and to step more underneath my horse. This is gonna to help to strengthen that inside hind and increase its flexibility. So I'm gonna be doing this by changing my position to facing my horse's hind end like this. So you can think my belly button is pointed towards his inside hip. I'm gonna hold my rein and whip in the same way I was holding it before. I'm gonna send him forward and I'm watching this inside hind leg to step under and his belly here and cross over. I'm gonna let him go in a circle around me. So I'm gonna send him forward. Using my outside rein to control that outside shoulder. And if he slows that hip down, I'm just doing a little tap right there to encourage him to step it more underneath. And right here, you can see how he's crossing that hind leg over and he's got a little bit less crossing going on in the front. So that inside hind is a little more active than the inside front leg is going in a smaller circle. So when you guys are practicing these exercises, remember to take your time and do them a little bit at a time. It's very common we start these off for a horse to really not cross very well, whether that's moving sideways, moving the front end, or moving the back end. So build to those deeper crosses and give your horse lots of breaks and rewards. When you're doing this work, um, it's going to help your horse. Not only is it gonna help in your riding to help him understand how to move away from your pressure better and be softer in your aids, but it's also gonna help him to be able to think through different problems. I love working with horses on the ground because it gives them a new perspective and really helps me to be able to understand a little bit more about them and them to build a relationship with me a little bit better. So I hope this video was a help to you and I hope that you keep enjoying your horses over this next week. I'll see you in the next video.